Hi Tarot Bumblebees, it's Anthony and welcome back to my channel and today I have got a new unboxing for you. It is, look at this first of all, can we talk about how this book, it's got like a padding in it, it's like so squishy and beautiful, I really need to get, I'm like a magpie, sorry. This is the Divine Masculine Tarot, I'm so excited to jump into this and oh, I just can't even. This beautiful book was sent to me as well as the deck and it is by Vasish and Vasish and it says the Divine Masculine Tarot, A Gate to the Secret Garden. Uh, now just a warning on this one, there is plenty of nudes nudes in this deck. So if you have children around who don't want to see naked bodies, full frontal, you know, maybe don't watch this at work. All right, let's switch over the camera now that I've given you that warning and uh, Let's discover the deck together. Okay, everybody, get ready for this beauty to be um, explored. Go grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea, press pause, come back. So I believe there's a nudity warning that needs to also be in this. Make sure you're not watching this at work or around minors that shouldn't see nudity. I don't, I'm a fan of nutties being naked. I don't think there's anything wrong with being naked, but, um, just a nude warning. I don't know what's in here. This is the first first time I'm seeing this. So let's get into it. The box is spectacular. Like there's a, a raised, well, embossed, uh, embossed cover. I love the elements, the sacred geometry. It's just gorgeous. It feels divine, beautiful. I love the box that's magnetic at the top. So there must be itty bitty little magnets in there. And then we have the bottom. Look at the design, the stags and everything. Oh, so the badger, it's like a wolf. There's a, a lot of sacred animals from Celtic and English law. Love that, gorgeous. And then we have the little guidebook, but as you know, I have the big one as well. So we'll have a look at that. And then, there we go. so the patrons. And then giving special thanks to some of the patrons. Oh, that's like, look at that. It's got a gilding. Oh, it's all got gilding. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the cardstock is that like velvety cardstock. Some people are real fan of it. Some people aren't. I love it. The backs are beautiful. Standard card size for a tarot deck. Matte black edging. I don't know if that's black paper, but it's black and that's like a brown. So it's really beautiful. I love the really delicate border and then we have a stamp, the symbol stamped on there in gold. Okay, the full, so beautiful. The magician. The detail in this artwork is unreal. Someone's, someone's seen that ceremony intuition so we've changed some of the titles to be um, more for the divine masculine the protector i think this is really lovely for someone oh so gorgeous for someone who wants to heal their masculine or the divine masculine wound and a lot of us have them um, who want to get to know the masculine side of themselves, even if that's like in a fluid way or whatever it may be. But I know a lot of people have got a lot of severe wounds around the divine masculine and could really use something like this to help them heal with it or even get to know themselves better. The emperor, the hierophant, and of course any person who wants to work with this deck, you know. The Lovers, the artwork is simply phenomenal. It is a complete masterpiece. Chariot, Strength, oh, she's just so cute. <laughs> Pulling the tail there. The colors are just exquisite. It might look a little dark here. The Hermit. I am the last airbender. Sorry, couldn't help myself. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, a very cool like Hermes vibe, Justice. 
Wow, look at the colors in these cards. The hanged man, the amount of love. Look, there's an archway in the back. Honestly, this is, I'm like, I want to dive into them. Death. Oh, so beautiful. The temperance. Beautiful card. Just gorgeous. The devil. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. The tower. Oh, love how like the tower can be presented as a phallic symbol and it's literally a phallic symbol. <laughs> like they're like, yeah, we get it. We're in, we're in on this. We, we understand. The star, this may be one of my favorite cards. I love the color combination. I love the flamingos. I think it's absolutely stunning. The moon. It is so rich in detail. It's very Rider Waite Smith inspired, but it's just, oh, where did the rest of the major kind of go? The sun. Judgment. Oh, so beautiful. And then the world. Oh. Oh, baby little cherubs so beautiful okay so that's a major arcana okay now we're on to the cups and everything is just as detailed this reminds me of is this this uh, the victorian romantic has a very similar pose because i think it's based on a piece of artwork a two of cups don't quote me on that but i think it is or the mermaid tarot i've seen that pose before on the uh on the cups. Three of cups. Four of cups. It's like, yeah, I don't need a, don't need a group sex situation tonight. Five of cups. Six of cups. Seven of cups. Wow, this Eight of Cups. So there is no actual cups, which is kind of cool. So you are relying on the title to kind of get what's going on. Um, no, oh, you're missing a 10. They just must have gotten out of order when they packed them. It happens all the time. I know this because oof, I want to read what's behind that. Why is that making me feel so uncomfortable? It's making me feel really uncomfortable. This page is beautiful. Ugh. Knight, love that Knight of Cups. The Keeper, beautiful. King, I honestly don't know how, I mean, like, I just can't say enough about how stunning this artwork is and the interpretations are really cool. Ace. So some of them like this, you could get that it's the Two of Pentacles and this is very Three of Pentacles. Um... This you could kind of figure out if you didn't have the title or the number. Um, and there's the key down here too. Uh, but that's a fantastic vibe. These are so beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is a deck I'm never letting go of. I think it's just exquisite. And I can't wait to read all about it in the book. Look at the white peacocks. And learn about the art that was inspired. This page, like Mowgli. Oh, so beautiful. Definitely love this Dionysius um, vibe there. Just stunning. Okay, so Wands, probably going to see a lot of phallic symbols. I'm just having a look. Oh, okay, so it's fire. Two of Wands. I, what I really do like about this is I've seen some like more masculine tarot decks and it's very on the nose. Like it's very like, oh, look, here's a bunch of penises. Whereas like what I really like about this is it's like it's actually taking a little bit more time to like not just 
have it be wangs aplenty. It's like, it's really beautifully done. Not the, you know, you know, I think you know what I'm saying. Like it's well done. It's executed beautifully. It doesn't shy away from the male form in all of its shapes and sizes, but it doesn't necessarily be like, we're just going to show you 10 penises for the 10 of wands, you know, like it's really very cleverly done. I love that some of these, actually quite a lot of these cards are very androgynous um, or they have very um, different sort of uh, interpretations, all different sorts of masculine types are shown in this and it's just beautiful. Have I said that enough? Oh, stunning. So this is an indie deck, everybody. So um, I'm going to pop a link, as I always do, to where you can get this deck below. That's so beautiful. For the sorrow, I know it's the sorrow card, but God, that is gorgeous. Like, I just, oh, this is one of the most beautiful decks I have definitely looked at this year. This is probably going to be in my top decks for the year. Wow, look at that. Look at that Eight of Swords. Uh, Oh, these are all so cool. Just beautiful. Oof, that's intense. And again, I have to read about some of these myths or legends or inspirations. What a powerful journey, like, yeah. I'm like reacting to having this in my hands already. So let's have a look at the book. See, this is a separate book that you can get. So it's Divine Masculine, Divine Masculine.co. Now it's a big book, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get all of it in. But we have the Table of Contents. This is by Philip and Marco Vasic, and they've done an amazing, amazing job. So the preface, this is about painting the tarot. You've done an exquisite job. Introduction, the major arcana, so the four kingdoms, the change of the two. And look at that. I mean, then now you get to like see the artwork even more. Just gorgeous. So then we have the magician, sorry, the fool. And then a little bit about the, I love that this is, this is the story of the actual, Oh, God, that card, it kills me. I'm dying on all of this. We have, and I love that because it tells the story about how the art reflects. And it is just beautiful. We have the prose there. A formidable image on a strangely formed hill stands a figure. His body is red. The hands of desperate souls also read, reach out from the ground representing desires. The ground itself resembles the human brain. Condemned souls pass in the distance. Wow. That is so powerful. Gorgeous. And then we have the change here of the court. And then we go into beautiful. So this is like a stunning art book. So that's the main, that's the big book that you can get, which I would recommend just for the simply incredible art. What does it say about this one? Actions speak louder than words when the conflict comes to a standstill and no negotiations left to be done. I come to enforce the will of my king. Here words are useless. My hand is lifted high, a symbol of dedication to my mission. The storm is preparing in a distance, but that doesn't stop me. That's a, that's a very intense <laughs> um, image. Beautiful artwork. And then the little guidebook that you get with it has some information. I don't think that it's in there that's in the same. So you get, I think getting both is good because this one has like the introduction, the tarot deck itself, using the deck. So this wasn't in the book, the other book. Tarot spreads, true love spread, the success spread. And then the card meanings, and I think they're a little bit different. Do you dare to follow your dreams? So there's like questions in there. I love the, the symbols, like the, like the cool like silhouettes of each one. It's very cool. 
absolutely stunning. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful deck. <sighs> wow. So I'm going to pop, like I mentioned, where you can go and get the the Divine Masculine, Tower of the Divine Masculine by Vasich and Vasich. Gorgeous, gorgeous deck. I can't wait to read with it. If you've been reading with it, what do you think? Because I'm already in love. I'll see you all next time, loves. Bye.